Hi guys, John here. And today we're gonna to take a look at digital torque adapters to see if they're actually accurate and easy to use. So in front of me here, of course we have the Quinn one from Harbor Freight. And then we also have the AC Delco one, which was purchased from Amazon. So again, to run these tests, we're gonna use the CDI torque wrench tester, which is made by Snap-on. So let's go ahead, get the specs and go from there. So here we have the Quinn model 68283 with a torque range of 29.5 to 147.6 foot pounds. Accuracy of plus or minus 2% and is powered by two AAA batteries. This unit is made in Taiwan. Purchase location is Harbor Freight with an MSRP of $28.99. Next we have the AC Delco model ARM602-4. Torque range of 14.8 to 147.6 foot-pounds. Accuracy plus or minus 2%. It is powered by two CR2032 batteries. This unit is made in Taiwan. Purchase location is Amazon with an MSRP of $69.99. Here with the Quinn, of course, we've got a little set of instructions. Calibration certificate here. We have a nice little case with a little piece of foam. Comes with an adapter from half inch to three eighths and of course half inch to a quarter. Now they both do fit nicely in the case there. If we take a look at the unit itself, the batteries are already installed. What you'll have to do is just pull this strip back here. So on the face, it's pretty simple. We have decreased torque setting, increased torque setting. We have memory, we have peak and trace. If you do hold peak and trace at the same time, you can change it you know, to newton meters from foot pounds, stuff like that. Now in the center, we do have a power button, so we'll go ahead and hit that. And you can see on the screen here, guys, we are in foot pounds. Now above that, we do have an LED, which the LED will flash green. Uh, then once we get to 20%, it will change to yellow. And then of course, when we get to that desired torque, it's going to go red. Then you're gonna have a long beep. Now with the AC Delco, again, we have a calibration certificate. We also have a manual here, a hard case as well, but we don't have any adapters and we actually have to install the batteries. So to do this, you're gonna need a small little Phillips here. Now on the front, it's even simpler design with a power button up and down. Now, once you power it up, you can also, by holding the up button or the down button, you can change it from peak or trace mode. So we'll go ahead and just power it up here. So to change this from Newton meters, guys, we're gonna click this and hold it for a second. Then we can see it flash here. Then we can click in the bottom down there and you can see it changing. So we do have foot pounds and inch pounds. So we're gonna put it in foot pounds. So now we'll go ahead and set it. Again, we're gonna press this for two seconds. And here we have the setting. So you can see we can change that to whatever foot pounds we want. Give it a second and now we're back to the main screen there and we are in peak mode. One thing to also note on the side, we do have three LED indicators letting us know. So anyhow, guys, let's go ahead and test them out. All right, guys, so we got her set to 30. You can see the screen and of course the torque adapter here. Let's go ahead.
at uh, 50% of the maximum torque you can do. I've got it set to 75. We're gonna go ahead and cycle this about a thousand times here and also uh, basically get the DB of how loud the beep is. So after those 1,000 cycles, we're going to do, uh, of course, three cycles again on each unit at 30, 90, and then max, which is, again, 147. So here's the test results of the audit before the 1000 cycles. So each one was cycled three times at three different settings. So first we have 30, then we have 90, and then we have 147. So next we have the audit after 1000 cycles. Same process, just ran it through after 1000. Uh, feel free to pause at any time because we're going to move pretty quick through this. Next we have deviation between the setting. So the first set of double bars there is for at 30. So basically it was the deviation off of 30. And then we have the same test ran again, deviation after a thousand cycles off of the setting. Next we have uh, deviation between the tests. So we did three tests at each setting. So this is the deviation between each of those uh, data points. And then here we have that same thing, of course, after a thousand cycles. So as you look at all this data, you can definitely see um, that they are close. Now, the AC Delco was a little bit off after a thousand cycles. That could have been a little bit of human error. But again, it's all within 4%. Now, yes, these are supposed to be plus or minus 2%, but normal torque wrenches are typically around the 4% range. So to me, they are quite accurate. And we also do have to factor in that the test stand is plus or minus 0.5%. So once we factor that in, we're really pretty close to that plus or minus 2%. I would say overall, I would take and purchase the Quinn. You know, for about half the price of the AC Delco. And um, I ran into some issues with the AC Delco. I don't know if you guys seen that there, but after about a hundred cycles, it just shut off. Uh, I would say it just drains the batteries too much. Um, powered it back up, made it about 20 cycles off again, powered it back up, made about 10 cycles off again. Uh, I did put some batteries I had laying around in it and basically did the same thing. You know, it would power up, run for about 100 to 150 cycles, and then shut down. You know, you got indicators on both sides here, which is nice. Um, I did find that when these went solid, you were a little bit over the torque. So I ended up watching the screen more than the lights on the side. They were good to know when you're starting to get close to the torque, but not the actual torque value. So when we look at the Quinn, uh, a lot easier to use with more buttons, of course. And yes, it does have only one LED on the top, so you have to be facing the screen side. But when this goes solid, you know you're right at right at the torque. Uh, another thing to note, I didn't have any battery problems, and they're running triple A's. So really easy to get a hold of. You know, you probably have some laying around the house, need to steal them out of your remote, something like that. If these for some reason go dead, um, you know, you have that option. Whereas the AC Delco is running these uh, CR 2032s. So just something definitely to keep in mind. 
Uh, if you do have a Harbor Freight, again, I'm going to recommend the Quinn. Seems pretty accurate. Half the price right now compared to the AC Delco. And to me, the big deal is the batteries. You know, this is something you might not use that often. Sit in the toolbox, you go to use it, batteries are dead. Well, here, unless you're carrying these batteries on hand in your house, you're gonna have to run to the store. Where, again, with the Quinn, you've probably got a package of these laying around somewhere. So definitely something, something to keep in mind there. So anyhow, guys, hopefully you found this video useful. Please like, comment below. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you on another one.